Have you ever had one of those little pesky noises in your vibraphone that you just couldn't find? It happens oftentimes in the studio where they'll be hearing a rattle or you'll hear a rattle and you just can't find out where it is. You think maybe it's a rivet on one of the resonators or is it something in the resonator and you just can't pinpoint where that noise is coming from. Well, oftentimes it's not even coming from the instrument. It's coming from something in the room that the resonator is picking up and amplifying. But you can find it with this simple little $10 tool. Go to any drugstore and pharmacy and purchase a stethoscope for under $10. And, uh, and you can use it to try and pinpoint where that problem has, uh, has occurred. And um, I've used it many times, especially on uh, older wooden instruments. Where are those creaks? Uh, do the paddle and find out where all, that's, uh, all those noises are coming from. And then once you've found the noise, uh, it's usually a pretty easy problem to solve. But today we're going to talk about resonators. That's the main purpose of this conversation that we're going to have. And it's because I find that a lot of people don't quite understand what is happening with the resonator and how it is responding with the bars and the instrument. Understand that the resonators are basically a, uh, what would you call it? Well, it's an amplifier. It's a natural amplifier, an organic amplifier. What the resonator is, is it's a capped tube, and that cap, a capped tube resonator, is roughly one half the length of the sound wave that it will support the most. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that apart and we're gonna do a couple of experiments with it. The first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate the difference between resonators on and resonators off. What we'll find is that there is a balance that we need to understand, that with a resonator on, the sustain of the bars is gonna be substantially different than what you think. The sustain of the bar is gonna be much shorter. The volume of the bar and the, the, uh, the strength of the bar of the sound will be much greater. So what we'll do is, what I'll do is I'll, we'll time it. And I'm gonna do it first with the resonator on, and you'll notice that it's probably gonna be in the range of 11 seconds worth of sustain. But the, um, the, the volume will be great. So here we go, starting when I first strike the first note. Okay, I'd say that's probably, probably in the range of 11 seconds. That's what it usually is. As I go around and try different instruments at colleges and universities, I've noticed that they're pretty consistent in that range of 11 seconds with the resonator on, if it's a good, strong resonator. Now we'll do the same thing with the resonators off. It won't be as loud, but the sustain will stay. Here we go, starting with the first note. Still going. Should be roughly around 40 seconds, I believe it is. That's what it usually is. And it's still going, but it, it serves our purpose. Now, how does this help you solve problems with the instrument? Oftentimes, and, and this, I actually learned this many years ago uh, in California. I was working, a friend of mine had an instrument that he thought he had a dead bar. He thought his top note was dead on the, uh, on the accidentals. And he blamed it on the bar. Well, we took the resonators off and played that note, and the note just sang just fine. There was no, uh, it, it was not dead at all. But the sustain with the resonators on was almost almost like a xylophone, it just would stop. So what we did was we detuned his resonator uh, so that it would balance to the rest of them. So that now that, that it was plenty loud enough, it was able to, to keep up with the other bars, but the sustain was now there that solved the problem. So the resonator, along with the natural resonator of the, that the rails created on that M55, created a Re a, a square resonator here that was, that was damping that note. And so that was a, uh, th so you could be problem solving by, gee, I've got a dead note. M maybe it's not the bar. M maybe it's the resonator. Take your resonators off, play the bars, see if the bars are fine. Put the resonators on, find out what happened that was different. And understand that this is not perfect and it will never be perfect. Resonators are imperfect um, and they will never be perfect all the time. Now, to further drive that message home, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the, the bars, let them sustain, and then bring in the resonator. You'll notice that the frequencies between the resonator and the bars, the resonator acted almost as a damper and muted the bars. The closer I got with the resonators, the more of them uh, silenced. It took me a little while to get these close up here, and once I did, it knocked those out too. So that should uh, make things a little bit more clear. <laughs>